Hello and welcome back to Vintage Wine and Port. Today we have a short video explaining all about white port, uh, what you can use it for, what you might expect for the taste, and indeed the price ranges uh, that you can buy into white port. Uh, so this is actually our cheapest port here, this is Poshas. Uh, non-vintage white port. This is less than £20, so this is perfect if you want to explore white port uh, or to use in a cocktail, for example. We'll get onto that later. And then uh, at the very other end of the scale, we have this 1940 Kopke, which is almost £800. This is a very rare uh, and expensive bottle. So white port, um, as, as the name suggests, is a much lighter colour than regular port, uh, more kind of golden, and it's slightly different because they use different grapes and the process is slightly different because they don't do maceration which basically means you know, it's not exposed to the skins and the vines as much whilst it's being um, processed. So it doesn't get as much of the colour and it doesn't get as much of the tannins. So uh, it's not necessarily as bitter or, or uh, that kind of mouthfeel that you get with um, uh, red wine and with um, vintage ports. You wouldn't necessarily get that with these white ports. Uh, they're very sweet, you get kind of a honey um, flavour and aroma and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and they're perfect for summer aperitifs, so this is the perfect season for them. I'm wearing short sleeves and shorts at the moment, so this kind of is ideal to start getting into white port. And they're brilliant, as I mentioned earlier, in cocktails. So we recommend uh, white port and tonic, especially if you're a fan of gin and tonic, or you've always fancied gin and tonic, but gin's not really been your thing. This is a very nice alternative, very sweet, perfect for these summer months. Uh, so there's all sorts of different options here. Uh, as I said, this, this 1940 cocktail, I'll get it out quickly, uh, is £800, it's a very kind of rare commemorative bottle um, because what happened was um, white port didn't used to be very popular so uh, a lot of the producers bottled up, um, barreled up all their white port and left it, it's just come back into popularity and so you've got these amazing sort of uh, relics of history that have just been bottled up and brought to the market including this Cavedo, very old white port this is more of a mid-range, about £150 uh, and then this Kopke here as well, this 2008 white Kalita, this is their latest release. Uh, Kopke actually have the biggest reserve uh, of Kalita ports and therefore also white ports. Um, so they'll probably be the, the, the most common uh, white port name you'll see. Uh, but yeah, independent producers like Cavedo as well also have lots of stuff. We have this uh, non-vintage uh, white port decanter, which looks very good. And actually, if you follow us on Instagram and Facebook, we've just done a giveaway of these, so you could have won it for free. So make sure you follow our Instagram and our Facebook because we're going to be doing giveaways regularly so you can get opportunities to win bottles like this. And as I mentioned earlier, this uh, Posh Avignon Vintage uh, is a much cheaper entry point into White Port. So it's worth exploring, especially in these summer months. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more, like this video and share it with a friend.